Indeed, uh, we are all uh, thankful that we have witnessed a new day. Uh, this is the uh, blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are, inshallah, going to start this program. Uh, this is the Sira conference that is uh, organized by the uh, Ikna Tarbiya Department. Uh, the theme of the of this uh, uh, would be the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sent with a mission. I will, uh, yeah. And, will. and then we, we have a brother uh, Abdul Rashid. Uh, I was looking at the comments. This is a very common question, and there is always an academic answer to it. But I would request if you could give an answer based on the lifestyle that we live here in in America for us and for our children. The question is this. What are the practical ways to purify our heart? Practical ways to purify our heart, keeping in mind the society we live in. Yes, uh, I think uh, uh, this is really a very important point. First thing, uh, if you study the ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you Ali Muhammad Kitab. Then Allah subhanahu wa said, Rasulullah is giving them teaching the ilm of teaching and ilm of hikmah and ilm means you can for example uh, you can for example make it bigger and bigger and bigger right but when Allah Swan said about the taskiyah he said use the key him mm. not giving the ilm of taskiyah but he is giving purification so it means the format which is developed by Rasulullah it will be only source to take taskiyah not outside one thing second thing is that the Tazkiyah means two things. First thing, I have to develop in my mind what is non Tazkiyah, which is impure, which is not clean. So developing the concept of impurity first, and then developing the purity is the second. So uh, suppose, for example, if I don't, I don't understand what is wrong and what is right, what is halal, what is haram. So it means, for example, I will be confused. Maybe, for example, I commit a lot of problems. So pre taskia I can say, pre taskia is to take the concept of what is non taskia what is haram. Third thing is that the taskia is maybe you can say it is the highest level of taskia maybe the ideal level of taskia but what is, you can say minimum of taskia what is easily available. So I think, for example, in our time, what we need, to develop two things. First thing, what is non taskia At least our kids, they must know that this thing is haram. They must understand that this relation, sexual relation is haram. This kind of, you know, for example, intimacy is haram. This is one thing. Second thing is that, for example, they say, okay, we want to be less like a Sahaba. We want just like a Subhi Umar radiallahu anhu. It is good to dream for it as an ideal position. But if we are Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam's sallam, is different from some mashayikh, some Sufiya. Sufiya Tazkiyah is impossible to do it, to admire it, but not to follow it. But the Rasulullah Tazkiyah is followable. So whatever a person can do, whatever minimum, and how, for example, it grow with bigger and bigger and so on. So if we start some minimum level of Tazkiyah, and then we ask them to go with at the bigger level, so it will be, for example, important. The fourth thing is that the Tazkiyah is not isolated job. I will do isolation swimming, but I isolate from water. I am training water swimming without going inside water. Yes. So it means, for example, if I go, I have to mix with people. I have to deal with people. Many times our Muslim, when they become little bit religious people, they keep distancing with everyone. Even the wife and husband issue become some one is religious but not, then they have a distance. No, living with them, Yani what you say, for example, uh, uh, yani, uh, Iqbal said, Shammim Mahfil ki tarah sab se juda sab ka rafiq. When you are living, you are just like candle. Candle is alone, but it is it is giving light to everyone. So I am saying, for example, when we are living in this society, it is a mixed society, it is many layers of society, different kind of people, but if we make ghettos, we make isolation, and we become purified. It may be good, but it, is, it means, for example, my heart, my charge, battery is charged, 
but I'm not connecting my battery with my car. So as a host of example, I do it. And the uh, fifth thing is that realm is important, is very important. But same time, the most important realm beside the realm is also manners. Some kind, for example, akhlaq. Some kind of, you know, for example, dealing with people. Many times we see when people become a little bit religious, they become harsh. They become, for example, you can say, uh, any yeah. <laughs> tough yeah. thing. So uh, how we'll do it? And sixth thing I can say, this is, it is ongoing job. It is not one time capsule. I took Tazkiya and I'm done. No, right. Tazkiya is whole life job. I will continue to do it. At, just like a Vaspasa. I am praying, Vaspasa is coming in my Salat, I am throwing it, it's coming back, I am throwing it back. So it is just okay. an ongoing thing. If we do this thing, inshallah, we will, uh, we will uh, for example, one thing we are missing, that we are not taking any role model of system, role model of society, which is we are missing. So this is will be a kind of, you can say, negative part, but these things will help, inshallah, even the society to develop our thing. And alhamdulillah, when we develop the sense of Kral haram people are careful about it. Jazakallah khair. And, uh, so, 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 can, yes, sir. Can I, can I add one quick thing? Yeah, yeah, you can add and you can also maybe expand your uh, comment to uh, another person's question, uh, Rizad, asking about as a common man, what can I do to spread Islam? So if you could also take that into your answer. Yeah. Jazakallah khair. And uh, thank you, Dr. Iqbal Nadwi Saab, for your kind you know, presentation and time. One thing for the first question, I will say in addition to what uh, our respected guest has said, you know, watch, you know, what goes through your eyes, your ears and your mouth. But this will affect your heart. So if we are careful, what goes through these three, you know, entry points and number two, as it is said, you know, if you want to really taste the halawa of Iman, the sweetness of Iman is that watch your eyes, lower your gaze when you see something that you are not supposed to see. As it is said in one of the hadiths, then you will really feel the taste of the sweetness. The third thing, be careful about your Iman, the condition of your Iman, your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in khalwat. When you are alone by yourself, nobody is watching you. Not when everybody is around you. And if you take care of these things, these things will help, inshallah, in making our heart purified. Answering your question about Dawa, the best, as it is said, 100 speeches cannot change one person. But one practicing Muslim, one practicing person can change 1,000 people. So for Dawa, the best thing is that we should become practicing ambassadors of Islam in this part of the world. People have listened a lot of speeches and they have heard, you know, so many, you know, claims. But what people are missing and what we are lacking as a Ummah is the practical example, living example of the life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu especially in West working as a da'i, we should become role model for our family in our house, role model, you know, at our workplace, role model in society. And that is the best way of da'wah. And for that, the starting point is that I should learn Islam myself. I should know what really is the requirement of my deen with me. So I have to invest some time to learn Islam, to have faham of Islam, understanding of Islam, then practicing myself, and this is what Ikna, you know, you know, teaches and preaches that we should make Muslims aware of what real Islam is, what their responsibilities are, and as Iqbal has says, said, you know, in one of his poetry, that Parvana ek patanga, jugnu bhi ek patanga, wo roshni ka talib, ye roshni saraba. Muslim is like a light bird, so wherever Muslim will be. He is going to enlighten the surroundings because of his inner Iman, inner beauty of Iman and his practicing aspect of his deen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. I mean, Jazakallah khair. I have one uh, other question. Uh, this is uh, a probably like a philosophical question. Man utal hikmata faqad utiya khairan kathira. 
وما يذكر الا اولو الالباب this quality of ulul albab having hikma and uh, uh, dr nadwi you pointed to a word called maslaha so you use the word maslaha that the same action may not be repeated in some other situation we see events after events that there are people who act upon impulses and uh, it feels that uh, as a, as a um, reaction to that then we do not get the goal that we are trying to achieve so the question is what is hikma and is it innate inborn is it god gifted or can it be developed as a human being as a muslim if i feel i don't have hikma can i achieve hikma or is it something which is god gifted and i just have to be content with the, my state that okay i'm not i don't have hikma so i will not be able to do certain things what what is your take on that yes uh, the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yani he is very clear about one issue that uh, the wisdom the hikma is given only to anbiya and through anbiya it is spread it to all humanity so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he pointed this, what is the hikma if i define it hikma is a, in arabic it means controlling the horse if you for example if you have a for example yani you know for example putting cradle uh, in its mouth it is it is for example you can just like a brake in car so hikma is it if, but the the hikma is if you want to ex- accelerate and you brake it is not hikma because now for example you are misusing that thing so using some thing proper way when it is needed it is hikma so i define it in other way i say the hikma is a fundamentals of just rule what is the just rule the fundamental is hikma and the hukuma hukuma is hakim is implementation of hikma so suppose if the hakim is guided by fundamentals the the hakim will be hakim if the hakim is without hikma he will be just like a dictator or whatever tyrant and if the hakim is there but he has no power kar asan na ho to karya kalimi hai be buniyad if i have a stick but i have i have a, some power but i have no stick to implement it so this hikma will not allah subhanahu wa taala gave to uh, ibrahim alaihi salam hukman watana hukma but he was given the fundamentals of hukum not the real hukum so if uh, uh, this is what uh, our for example philosopher jazak ibn khaldun he said the yani the, the he defined the khilafa he said uh, yani you know two things hirasatu din wa siyasatu dunya you are preserving din as it is and you are managing the system of world according to the need and you know according to to the tadbir so both things are for example need different kind of guidance and so on so fundamental hikma in our usul al fiqh we have actually two different categories of understanding hukum one is hikma which is mostly related to ibadat can we don't know why allah subhanahu wa taala ask us to read for example five times prayer why four rakats zuhur but we understand allah is hakim so there must be some hidden wisdom behind it but there is another part of deen which is called illa illa is we defined and we can discover it and we can extend it so suppose allah subhanahu wa taala said i am forbidding you uh, hammer or wine for so so reason so it means for example we can extend this hukum so hikma is actually yani one of the area of deen which is related to allah subhanahu wa taala wisdom but other portion which i said maslaha related to illa which is for example we can work according to it Yes. Hikma, you know, I would just add one thing. Hikma is a evolving thing. It's not that somebody is is you know, can have it by birth. This is hmm. something that you can learn and you can equip yourself. Hikma is saying right thing at the right time in right circumstances. and there is another term used you know in uh, our psychology today is emotional intelligence which is part mm-hmm. of hikma the yeah. understanding of your own emotions 
and controlling your own emotions and knowing and understanding the emotions of the other party and then creating an environment where you can communicate your message you can get the job done so this is hikma like water when faces mountain so it finds its way to how to go around that mountain so this is also you know hikma sacrificing you know lower purpose for a bigger purpose this is also hikma this is also hikma to creating environment where your point of view could be understood by the other people so these are all come under the definition of hikma as well inshallah sakla khair inshallah with that we'll uh, close this session inshallah and uh, we move on to jazakalla khair dr nadwi and dr shahid rafi uh, jazakalla thank you very much jazakallah khairan thank you